Hi, my name is Gabriele. Uh, I'm from Italy. Uh, I'm an animator here at Christian Productions. I, um, my job mostly consists of working on uh, creatures and I do also uh, mechanical animation. Uh, and sometimes I also, I mostly work on game animation, but I also work uh, sometimes on the cutscenes. Hi, my name is Thomas. I'm half French, half Japanese, and I'm an environment artist at Kajima Productions. Uh, my job consists of creating landscapes and cities that you can see and explore in games such as Death Stranding. And my, so I have to make a beautiful landscape, but also uh, levels that are fun to play as because it's a video game. Uh, well, I first thought about coming to Japan because uh, actually my wife is Japanese, um, so it was always like an option for us like to maybe one day come here um, and so when when I thought like, okay if I had to work in Japan where, where, where would I like to work and I think one of the first studios that came to my mind was also it was definitely like Kojima Productions. So I grew up in Paris and I worked in the video game industry there for seven years but I've always liked uh, Japanese video games and especially games by Hideo Kojima was something that was uh, very uh, close to me since my childhood. So working at Kojima Production so sounded like a dream since a long time. So one day I just decided to move to Tokyo and like, let's do it. Like, let's start a new adventure. So yeah, I... So this was the first time I moved to a different country for me. So uh, Kojima Production was very supportive. Uh, financially first because they paid uh, what I, every like fees from like movings, uh, hotels, uh, uh, plane, all, all those fees were covered. And also for the first month I could stay in a hotel that uh, KGP has booked for me. So we, uh, while I was searching for a home, I, w I, was, I, I had somewhere to stay, so that, that was very nice. And they also uh, gave me a phone for a month. So, because ha having a phone like right away is very convenient, so yeah, that was very helpful. Well, before coming to Japan, uh, yeah, I think uh, I was a bit worried about maybe Japanese like work culture, like you hear a lot of things like from outside and stuff. But after actually coming to work here at Kojima Productions, I was actually surprised that it's a really uh, relaxed company, uh, and like you're free. I I'm pretty really free in what I do, like and to manage my time. And, and also like, they've been, especially like in the last two or three years, like with the COVID and stuff, they've been really supportive. Uh, also like with remote working and like flexible working. Um, so uh, I was actually surprised at how uh, in some way international the company feels. And there's also actually quite a few foreigners around the studio. Yes. Uh, for me, like, I'm half Japanese, so it's, I thought it was easier, but I was still afraid of, well, not afraid, but worried about Japanese companies because the, the image I had in my mind is like very vertically structured companies that and you can't say anything to your boss and stuff. So I, I was kind of worried about that. Like, but once I came to KGP, it wasn't the case at all. So it was, it was a friend, a very casual and friendly environment where I could ask any questions and. And if I if I have something to say, I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. So yeah, the, the, the way that the company feels very friendly is uh, was very uh, I'd say like nice for me, like a good surprise. Like I always feel like working at KGP, it's it's like we, we can focus on very like small details yeah, and yeah. nothing is done like. Oh, nobody would care. Like, no, I think there's yeah, there is a lot of focus on like on a small yeah. details of making everything as okay. good as possible. So it's a lot of work. It's a lot. We, uh, it's a lot of effort. But at the end, when well, we, for example, we worked on the destroying to trailer. Yeah, on the so trailer. So we, we could see the reactions of yeah, the yeah, life after. of 
like worldwide people. It's watching. what is really rewarding after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the people again. Yeah. Like if you, you see the trailer and you see people like screaming because yeah. they see something that you worked on. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, it's really feels really rewarding. Yeah. And it's not just for the trailer. It's like even yeah, yeah, just for course. the game. Like when you see people like maybe posting like. Uh, stuff from the game, or yeah. even I guess, even like in the case of the stranding for you, for an environment, an environment artist, like there's a lot of people like just taking yeah, screenshots, photos and, screenshots and, yeah. and like taking beautiful pictures of the environment. Yeah, so it has it has to be. I feel like yeah, it's it's really rewarding and gives you motivation to do to do better and to do more. It's it's like an additional reason why we have to push the limit always, yeah. like. And because we don't know nowadays, like with photo mode, people will take a small yeah, pictures yeah, yeah, yeah. of. Like also, yeah, because of that, you have to make everything perfect. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Might so find something. <laughs> yeah, it's even like uh, more work to do, but at the end, it's very worth it. I think. Yeah.